Hello and welcome back to the Katsukai channel. I hope you are doing well. Today's video is going to be a slice of life vlog. Essentially there are going to be clips that I have that didn't make it into other vlogs so I'm putting them all in one place. So yeah, but I'm starting off here with doing a photo card pack with me here. I have Wu Young from ATs that is going to a new home. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of photo card trading in sales so thought I would include this. And also I didn't include an intro really to the next clip but this video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. So next clip would be me talking about the July boxes. But other than that, I'm gonna let the vlog speak for itself from here. Thank you, and I'll see you in another video sometime soon. This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. We are back once again with another Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. monthly unboxing. If you have watched me before, you already know what we're about to get into. But for those who are new, um, Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. are monthly Japanese snack boxes that their whole goal is to allow you to taste different treats and snacks from Japan from the comfort of your own home. And each month they have different themes, typically related to the trends and events that are going on in Japan. And as always, we are going to start with Tokyo Treat, so I'll start there. Tokyo Treat specifically is a monthly pop Japanese snack box where you will get up to 20 of exclusive, limited edition, and seasonal flavor Japanese snacks that includes Japanese instant ramen and and drinks and these snacks are typically only available in Japan for a limited time. This month's theme for Tokyo Treat is Okinawa Snackin' Oasis. This month Tokyo Treat invites you to get a taste of island life, an adventure to one of Japan's most popular getaway destinations, Okinawa. This month's box is fully packed with tropical flavors and Okinawan favorites you don't want to miss. Discover sweet, island delicacies, and Japanese local treats in this month's box. Some of the highlighted snacks I tried this month are the Kit Kat cookies and cream, Okinawan so sea salt donut, and the Ariel sour cream and onion chips. Time to get into the monthly Kit Kat, and this month's Kit Kat is the cookies and cream. Oh my God, is it melted? That's not them, that's me, because, okay, well, it melted because my house is so hot. It's still really good, still good. <laughs> Next, we are going to try the Ariel Sour Cream and Onion Chips. Super excited for that. Here's inside. And here is a chip. Mmm. That's really good. On to Sakura Co. So Sakura Co. is a monthly Japanese artisan snack box that typically focuses on supporting local Japanese snack makers. And each box comes with 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, which includes Japanese teas and special Japanese tableware items. This month's theme for Sakura Co. is Festival of Tohoku. Known for its lively and colorful festivals, Tohoku offers a captivating display of culture and tradition. This month, Sakura Co. invites you to indulge in authentic and savory flavors that capture the essence of this enchanting region celebration, bringing a piece of Tohoku's festive charm to your home. This month, I tried the mini shrimp tempura.
This month's special Japanese tableware item for Sakura Co. is the Neko Tenegyu. Tenegyu traditional Japanese towels carry a rich history dating back centuries and have become versatile in everyday life. Infuse a touch of charm into your life with this lovely cat Tenegyu, crafted from 100% cotton using traditional Japanese weaving methods. All right, I'm going to try the mini shrimp tempura. Oh, they're in little shapes, it's cute. So here's one. Mmm, not good. I do want to try these pear gummies. I've come to love Japanese gummies because it actually tastes like the fruit. Like the authentic fruit, if you know what I mean. Here is one of the gummies. Um, see, this gummy tastes like a pear, an actual pear. All right. Another month, another round of delicious snacks and treats from Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. Now, if you want to try authentic Japanese snacks and treats from the comfort of your own home, feel free to use my code KATSUKAI at checkout to get $5 off either your first Tokyo Treat or Sakura Co. box. Thank you once again to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back into the video. And now I have a Lego problem or brick problem, depending on whatever. But I've gotten two more like build sets. So first one, I got the Animal Crossing Lego set. I got the one with Nook's Cranny and Rosie's house. I may get Isabelle's house. Like Cap'n was interesting, but I just want the boat with Cap'n in it. I don't want anything else. Like I don't want Marshall, but this one was the best one. I don't really care for Rosie's house. I really just wanted Nook's Cranny, but yeah, so I got that. So you got some freebies. 
if you bought any of like the Animal Crossing sets. And first you got like a little Maples Pumpkin Garden set. And then this other set as well. This is like a friend set. I don't know. I, I don't know. I like the little Lego girl though, but I don't, I don't know who she is. Maybe I'll put her in the Japanese tea shop. Who knows? I don't know. This is a Keepley build set. So it's not Lego, but this is Ichiraku Ramen. So I saw this. I think I saw, God, I think it, I can't remember his channel name. I'll put it somewhere. It's like Scotty Bricks or something like that. But yeah, first of all, love his energy. <laughs> Go check out his channel if you're into like, lego bricks and everything this is like my new hyper fixation hence why i bought two others when i literally just finished only one yeah i got this and it comes with dabayo himself and kakashi like look stop like they have the little sign like there's like so much with this set it even has a little handle on the box like let me flip to the back here so here's where you can see the back and it has like a little vending machine with juice juice and yeah so you take off so there's like the roof here oh and there's a little bird i didn't even notice that but roof and then you have the first floor which i think is kind of like an apartment or something second roof and then the bottom which it has like a whole bunch of stuff in there i think i'm good for a minute on builds even though i've already created a wish list with all the sets i want to get but where am i going to put them i don't know so because i know what i'm going to do with this but i don't even know what i'm going to do with nook's granny in rosie's house Ignore my shelves. <laughs> Anyways, I want to show you all 
some cool otaku things. There is a site called Steady Hands. I will link it in the description here. And I ordered some cardigans from them, I think in November of last year. So I thought I would show you all the cardigans. I have one on, but let me go grab the rest. I'll be right back. And I got four in total, including the one I'm wearing first. We have this one. Look at me being like a try on haul, Shein try on haul. I'm kidding. First cardigan I have is a skate inspired cardigan. Final selection, Tanjiro. You like, you got me with the pockets, the number three. I'm like him. I'm like, final selection feel like Ice Spice. Like, you know how she always stands like this? Like, I've never seen a picture of Ice Spice where she's like this. So this one, this one like, hands down, has the best slouch. Like, love this one. This is a Samurai Champlo inspired. I think this is Mugen inspired, I'm pretty sure, because it kind of matches his whole aesthetic. For here we have Mugen. And then there's me, Mugen, me. Okay, let's get to the last one. <laughs> last, but definitely not least, Hokage. Are you joking? Shadow clone jutsu who? Dabayo. <laughs> like, stop. I, anyways, I got these all in a size medium large. Check them out. I'll link it in the description. I always say that and then I forget, but I'm going to remember this time. And no, not sponsored. I just like anything with some of my favorite animes involved. Not my own. 